All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people. Also, freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this um, wonderful YouTube platform. This is Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube channel that gives you quality news and information on all the activities happening in Biafran territory. Now, without wasting any more time, let us go straight to the this particular issue that has been trending on social media, you know, concerning Mazen and the Kano, the Southeast governors and them um, or passenger coming out to clarify or rather to deny his involvement in Southeast governor's resolution on Maze Namdekano. This issue have actually raised a lot of eyebrows, you know, and um, Obasanjo has actually come out once again to clarify or deny himself in this involvement. But I want to clarify to you, the Southeast governors that we know Currently, do not mean well for Onyendo Mazenam de Kano. I have every belief that they do not mean well for Onyendo Mazenam de Kano, basically because of the fact that they were the ones who facilitated the adoption of Onyendo Mazenam de Kano. But um, without wasting any more of their time, let us go straight to what Obasanjo, you know, is actually saying. OBJ is actually saying on these issues. The news in detail. Former President Olusha Obasanjo says the release of Namdekano was not on the table when he met with governors on the Southeast region on Tuesday. Governors under the ages of the Southeast Governors Forum resolved to meet with President Bola Ahmed Tunubu on Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Hope Ozodema, Governor of Imo and Chairman of the Forum, listed a planned engagement with the federal government on Kano as one of the resolutions reached at the Enugu meeting. Basenjo had also paid a solidarity visit to the Southeast Governors Forum on the day. In a statement issued through Kende Akinyemi, his special assistant on media affairs, Obasanjo said the meeting he had with the governors revolved around regional development issue. The regional development issues include that of, that of security and infrastructure, Others were economic and cooperative or collaboration, which was meant to complement the national economic development agenda. The statement reads, The meeting with them was at my invitation and of Chief Emeka Anyoku before their summit begins. The issue of Namdekano was not on the agenda and was not discussed in my presence. Obasanjo was quoted as saying. Now, let me pause there. The same governors, in quote, are the ones who are coming out to chase clout by saying that the major aim of their visit was for the release of Onion Dumas and Amdekan. I have said this over and over again. Stop believing politicians. You don't trust them. These people can do everything possible just to make a relevant point or to get power. They've been doing it using Oyendo Mazenam de Kano, you know, just for the people to accept them because of their failed. They failed. They have actually failed the people. The same way Ohanez and Debo also have failed the people. So, Khan, using Mazenam de Kano to chase clout is the major interest that they are interested in currently. Thank God for someone like Olusha Gobasenjo, who is actually eloquent in speaking and who speaks out his mind. You can't just come out and accuse Baba and expect him to keep quiet. They were using these as a geese, you know, to cover up their um, evil plans. 
right from the day they've been claiming they've been um and uh, what is it called they've been calling for the release of Mazanam de Kano. honestly speaking i said it who is the person who is calling for the release of Mazanam de Kano? is it hope or danger who we know fully where he's scared of onion uh, of onion the Mazanam de Kano. who pulls out him own who who also you know contributed to the abduction of onion the Mazanam de Kano. is he the person that you should take seriously these people have failed and that is why i will never take anything that has to do with them seriously because they are selfish and only thing they care about is their own personal interest the reality is that the truth about this is out and lucia government has come out to review that truth concerning the southeast governors and them um, uh, onion domas and the cano but meanwhile watch this particular video and watch this analysis concerning how they are trying and doing everything possible to bring down uh, the prime minister simon Eba. as i'm a continent as i'm talking africa has the largest immigrants to the world it has the largest refugees to the rest of the continents why is that so it's because of such crises that we can see in biafra and amazonia and other countries like sudan so i think before we even move forward it's very important that we give or they are given referendum. From there, we, they can be able to sort out the rest of the challenges. And it's quite unfortunate because we have diplomatic missions in Nigeria. Why can't they take that issue with them and sort it out? Why are they quiet? Why is the world quiet when Biafrans are suffering? Why is the world are quiet when we know very well that such issues can affect the whole of the, whole, the, the whole of the African continent. It's quite sad and that's why as Punchline Africa TV will continue talking to the world and saying that these people need a referendum. They're not needed. If you honestly you don't need me in your space, give me what I want so that I can self-govern myself, which I think it's a, it's a good way and a, a diplomatic way of allowing people to go their way. Mm -hmm. That would yes. be cool. Uh, coupled with that, uh, I would like you to approach it from a, dif a different angle altogether. What probably could have informed this agitation for, of course, separation, uh, for a referendum to go separate ways between, of course, uh, Nigeria and the people of Biafra? Let's approach it from that angle as you and ask ourselves, what probably can we do to see into it that we find a healing in this divide? Yeah, uh, I think it, it's paramount to understand that uh, for starters there was no redemption and uh, the word you just used, healing, from the first Biafran crisis in 1967, you know, to the, the three years uh, fighting. And if you remember very well, there was a, a brief period where they got their independence and then the Nigerian military decided to send all the plans to just bomb indiscriminately. Uh, anybody who was found in that region. And those scars are passed on in what is called transgenerational trauma. You, they, they, you, it, you don't even have to tell your child about this. It's the same thing that affects most African countries. You don't really need to tell your child, you know, hate this person or hate this person. But the way you behave and the way you talk about these things and the tone with which you use, your children pick that and then they go that, they go with, they grow up with that. Uh, they send it to their children and their children's children and each generation comes forth understanding their history and knowing very well that we are the people who have been marginalized in a country where we are one of the most, we, we, we are creating profit. We are bringing GDP, one of the highest uh, rates of GDP, we are bringing the largest group of intelligent people, we are bringing the largest uh, group of talented people and yet we are the people who are not benefiting from all this. And this crisis goes on in, in most of the countries that uh, we are finding, uh, we, are, we are finding, you know, in, in the African continent with, with protests currently like Ambazonia and uh, Ethiopia. If you uh, bring in another angle of how the Nigerian government has been dealing with this agitation, I, I believe or I think if they were to avoid the situation that they're finding themselves in, they really should have addressed the issue of why there was a BFN war there was a Biafra war, rather, in the first place. As it is, they are taking the Paul Beer approach of assuming everything is fine because we're in Lagos. While everything is not fine, people continue to die. You continue to apply the colonial methodology of handling protests, and that is arresting people arbitrarily. 
disappearing people arbitrarily for a very long time. We don't know where no, uh, Namdi Kano is. That should not happen in this day and age. For a very long time, I don't know how many Biafrans have disappeared, how many have run from their homes, you know, uh, fearing persecution or fearing death. And that is a very old, very archaic way of dealing with, uh, with these protests. Most of these African governments could have benefited and could have avoided this crisis if they came forth and asked the people, what is it we can do for you? Where did we go wrong? How can we institute uh, healing to begin in the Biafran uh, uh, region to start with? How can we make sure that we, we set up, even if it's a ministry, you know, or talk, talk to the ministry of uh, devolution because Nigeria has one, was one of the, uh, the, 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 the countries that uh, started the, the federal system in Africa. And yet you have people with no roads. It makes zero sense. And that is a very uh, bad, uh, it's a very bad conviction on devolution in Africa. So as it is, I think uh, the onus is on the Nigerian government, first of all, to understand why there was a Biafran war in the first place, understand why it still goes on, ask the people what they, 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 they want. And as it is right now, if they ask the people 10 years ago, the needs will be different because right now all they want is a referendum. All they want is a referendum. And if they get that referendum, they're going to, 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 to get, get out of Nigeria. They're going to vote and ratify that they need to be separate from Nigeria. The, the thing that the federal government of Nigeria fears about this is because they'll lose most of their resources and they'll yeah. lose most of their manpower and that skilled labor. This is something they should have addressed, uh, you know, to prevent, to prevent the anthills building a mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. You said if uh, probably the federal republic of, uh, the federal government of Nigeria will have asked the people of Biafra what they want 10 years ago, things would have been different. Maybe the needs would have been different, but as it is today, the only call, and it remains so, is a referendum and nothing short of it. Let me hear from Melinda Alela what you have to say about it. How can we heal the divide uh, in Nigeria, more so with the Biafra crisis? All right. Uh, thank you so much, Tarish. Of course, the rest of the panel and the viewer. Um, I've just gone an extra mile to try and understand all this crisis. It's a bit of history in Nigeria. And um, the problem, the Biafra problem is more than meets the eye. And um, it has gone to a level whereby I would say, you know, it's a point of no return. I was looking to some report or maybe at uh, some reports that were suggesting that maybe in the year 2023 or years to come, Nigeria is likely to split even more into not just having Biafra on this other end, but over a couple of others, around six, six states. Yes, over six states. <laughs> so that is to tell you there's a big problem in Nigeria, not just in Biafra land. Maybe the few people of Biafra have realized how capable they are. They are learned to a level whereby... They know very well that they can govern themselves. They have tried in the federal system. They have traditional and local leaders where you find the Igwes, and they realize how possible it is for them to be able to work out uh, things as a people. They enjoy the numbers, the people of Biafra. You know very well that they have a huge population that can literally All right. actually form and sustain a country for that back, matter. Please. There's the question of resources, proper please resources coming from the region of Biafra, back. talking about the Ibu, of course, talking about so the oil, continue. that, of course, the external hand has major interest on. So the please let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Please let me know in the comment section. Let me know, let me know, let me know if my voice is back. It was uh, network issues, of course, like as I said from beginning, uh, we do not trust the network. So we do not trust the network. We have to continue. <clears throat> the problem now is that I don't know where you know, where we stopped because I was busy showing you something from this side. I don't, I didn't see your comments as early as possible. Okay, fine. Um, let me start from here. I want to do something before telling you the names or before giving you the names of those who wrote this junk. Let me tell you something. Please share share the broadcast so that others who have left already will be able to come back because we are about to expose the purveyors, 
those who who have concocted this very junk we are about to expose them now so <clears throat> share please and let others know that we are back so that they can be able to come back and come and finish the, the 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 program now i want us to make a research first before showing you the names or before tell, uh, giving you the names of those who wrote this nonsense let us make a research first we are going to copy the name this this is the name of these so-called uh, southeast professionals they are coalition of southeast professionals network in nigeria and diaspora this is their official name the so-called professionals right so let let us, you know, uh, copy it. We are going to do. We are going to do the practical together here. We will do the practical together. I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know if if you got all this experiment before the, you know, the network problem. I don't know, but let me just continue from here. Okay, now let us copy this name, and then open a new tab. This is a new tab. Then paste the name of this so-called group, the criminal element, and then search. Now, let me tell you something that some people do not know. Let me tell you something that some people do not know. When you are making a research, when you are making a research, about a particular, you know, um, organization. Once you put their name here and search, the first thing that is going to pop up here, the first thing you are going to see here is the domain, is the domain, the website of the organization, the website of, the, of that organization that you are searching is the first thing which is going to pop up here or you see Wikip wikipedia i want you to pay attention please or you see the wikipedia or the domain the website of the organization which you are searching which you are looking for that will be the first thing to see here before then you start when you scroll down you start seeing news of you know news concerning the particular organization that you are searching or looking for but for this on this on this case after doing the search you see that there is nothing like domain there is nothing like wikipedia there's nothing like that the only thing you are seeing here is the same news that i have read the same news that i just read so you ask yourself where is the website of the so-called Coalition of Southeast Professionals Network in Nigeria and Diaspora? What you see here is just the news, only the news. Look at it. Only the news of this uh, 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 particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, effect. So now let us assume that the name is too long. So the net, uh, the, uh, 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 it is not written like that on their website let's just assume and then we're going to go back <clears throat> excuse me let's go back to the article and then copy the abbreviation let us assume that this full name is too long so their domain their website is not written with their full name so let us assume that their website is written with their abbreviation let us copy the abbreviation and then go back to the new tab, cancel this one, and then paste the abbreviation that we just copied, and then search. You see, after searching with the abbreviation, the same thing happened. What you are seeing here is all about the news, the news that we just read. That's all, nothing else. No website, no Wikipedia no history no information of the so-called south east coalition 
of uh, blah, 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 whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing at all. No domain. They don't have base, no domain, no website, nothing, nothing to, you cannot say, let, let me go and, uh, you know, at least chat with these people, talk to these people, let me know more about them, let me see their, you know, modus of operandi, let me see how they operate. There is nothing like that. So, in other words, it is now evidently clear we have, you know, laid a foundation, we have cemented the fact that this so-called Southeast Coalition does not exist. I want you to pay attention, please. We have now, you know, laid a foundation, and it is now evidently clear that there is nothing, no group, no organization called Coalition of Southeast Professionals Network in Nigeria and Diaspora, which their abbreviation is CSEPNND. There is no group known as this. Now, you begin to answer, answer, uh, ask questions. Then, who are these? <laughs> Excuse me. You begin to ask questions. Because we have, we have done, this is like, we are doing it live. Not that I have done it and then I come here to tell you, oh, okay, I made my research and I found out that there is no group called uh, 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 Southeast Coalition. That is, not, that is not the issue here. If I have come here to tell you, I made my research and I found out that there is no group called uh, Coalition of Southeast Professionals professional network you will say biafra unite did i do this research with you how can you convince me that there is no group called southeast uh, uh, coalition of southeast professional network but we are doing it live on television you know uh, we are very very lucky and opportuned to come to this age of this uh, technology so everything is happening on the screen, on a live broadcast. We have done the search with their full name and their abbreviation. So there is nothing like that. It does not exist. Now you begin to ask very pertinent question. Who are these Southeast Coalition of Professionals Network? My brothers and sisters. After all my cracking of, after cracking brain and asking questions and doing my own research, it has come. In fact, I listened with, I, 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 I'm trying to find the word. I'm trying to find the grammar, you know, the grammar to, to, that I'm going to use to, to, to qualify the situation, to compare with what happened. I watched in dismay. I was in a terrifying situation to listen and watch and learn that the people who concocted this junk that you see here, the root name here, they mentioned, let me, where is that name they wrote? They say they are, the professionals convey the, their position in a statement signed on Wednesday by Prof. Chika Madumene, a national president, national president of a group that is non-existence. Then they say, Mazu Chibokwe, national secretary, and Dr. Dr. Mrs. Chioma Madoka, coordinator, women wing. Imagine they have already had women wing when they are not existing. All these names you see here are fake. Fake. They do not exist. Do you know who they are? The engineer. The architect. The organizer. The, the president, yes, 
the so-called president they say they they have a they i think they have uh president general where is it national president yes my brothers and sisters this national president you see here is no other person than ifanyoba i want you to pay attention i will tell you who they are <laughs> The national president of the Coalition of Southeast Professionals Network, Nigeria, and in the diaspora, is Ifanyoba. Ifanyoba. He is their president. <clears throat> now, the deputy, followed by his gang of criminals. Ifa Juna is there. He's the deputy. Ifa Juna. Chike Dozieha is there. Followed by China Sangohu. Then do you know the person who wrote this? Is that criminal in Ghana? The person who wrote the thing, who wrote it by himself, is that criminal in Ghana? <laughs> <laughs> this one they told you we uh, coordinate of women wing there is nothing like that there is absolutely nothing like that do you know their national secretary national secretary is that criminal in ghana now him write this junk what i have told you now is pure life and direct no propaganda <laughs> no propaganda <laughs> now them concocted this rubbish and the, the criminal in ghana <clears throat> that we exposed since we exposed him his life has never remained the same is the one who wrote this junk him, by himself why they are they are they are they are they are uh, they are uh, they are organizer they are boss is if you see this is how they roll this is how they roll these are the evil people who have sworn never allow biafra to come these are the evil people that collaborated and colluded with the enemies from Fotajalon to sell Mazinam de Kano, Ofumporoanya, Ndi Biafra Jiboa Fosa before. Chuku Esemba, Ongwele Lundi Boto Se, Ofumporoanya, Hey, Kezio Tracy, where to inu anwa, Chai. Ndi Fulani Bia, Kafaro Pomporoanya anwa, Ibo Jafoso. Chukuo kikabia mwesi, no, it will not happen. Chuku megini, we kenya anya anya ozo. Ayungu anya nabu na, if I wele nabu anya ibuwa. And this second eye, chuku kenya raanyi, or the very, very far from the enemies to blind. Iro kwa, the second anya chuku nye raanyi na, iro kwa ya, no, the key guys is see chuku no way at your make out of the Ghana because if you need a stubborn, I try Cairo or Anina Lundia, in a fan or so Cairo was the go and over the That is how it stands as that is how it is as it stands today. That is to show you how important this freedom is to God, not to, not just to us the freedom of the beer from people is more important to god himself than the people of biafra i will explain and after that i will open the line for our people to call in and make their contribution or let me quickly open the line right about now while i explain that the number is on your screen plus three five eight four one five eight five double one double three 
Let me call that again. Plus three five eight four one five eight five one one three three. That is the number. It's actually on your screen as you are watching right now. So you can copy the number and call us on WhatsApp. If you have a question, bring it on. If you want to debate us, bring it on. If you want to make a contribution towards this very latest development, you are highly welcome. And then at the same time, I'm going to share the link once again. I will share the link in the comment section. So those of you who would want to join me live and direct in the studio would do so while we deliberate on this matter. The link is right now in the comment section, wherever you are watching from, from our two YouTube channels, the link is in the comment section. You can click the link and join me live and direct in this studio. Kaimewaya live and direct. Now, let me tell you something. <clears throat> the freedom of the Biafran people and Biafrans at large or should I say the Biafra land, is more important to Chukwo Kikabiyama than us fighting for the freedom. Caller on WhatsApp, your name and where you're joining us from. If you are calling us from outside of the zoo, you are welcome to the show. Uh, Biafra Unites, I greet you, my beloved brother. You're welcome. Please be audible. Kindly be audible, please. You're welcome. Okay, okay, my brother. I am, I am, I am. You could one name, You're welcome. Go ahead, please. Okay, my brother. <laughs> my brother, you know, it is very, very laughable. It is it is it is very, very it is very, very laughable that at this point, at this point in time, we still have the same people, they they felt they 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 in, in fact they they rejected uh, the defeat. The more they do, the, the more they failed. Now, even even when you are even when you are reading out the 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 so-called uh, broadcast, the the newspaper uh, publication, I was like I was like laughing. I was like I was like laughing before you started the the, the expo, exposition. Now going by the zoo, you see you see how they are they, they are indeed a fake a fake country. They will now be fast enough. To publish that, to, to 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 publish the rubbish that doesn't have an address, that doesn't have a, even even if you say okay, let's trust this news, and know and know the and know the outcome, or maybe uh, the, you, you you might need a further further uh, inquiries about the so called uh, uh, so called uh, eastern eastern rubbish they they call themselves. There will be no address. But the one, the one we are doing, the one our prime minister is doing, you see them debunking it. That was a question. That was a question you asked earlier when you were uh, at the beginning of this program about extraordinary rendition. <laughs> you know, most of us, it is true that uh, we are not uh, a lawyer, but now we know what is on ground. There are many people. Ninety-five percent of uh, the so-called people, the, the, the so-called educated people in the zoo that are not educated. That no, 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 no wonder our leader call them educated illiterate. Now, have we heard that there are a, 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 a thing that are called extraordinary rendition? Yet they swept, they swept it. They keep dodging it, sweeping it under under the carpet, knowing fully where the consequences know everything about it but they turn a blind eye well i won't i won't blame them because they afraid that what we are doing now is nigerian things thank god for our prime minister honestly thank god for our prime minister the 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 only man that god used to wipe our tears because they fear that when they kidnap our leader onion do everything dies off before the the emergence of our prime minister now the the game has changed and these foolish people if, if, they don't know what is coming. They fear that it's, 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 it's as usual. Thank it's, you, my brother. Game or, or this as, as usual. Thank you, my brother. So, the, uh, we have already warned them, my brother. Thank God, you. Is, they, all, all the jamboree, all the jamboree they are in there, they are not beaten around the bush. They can't be us. Thank you, my so, brother. My, my problem, we must continue. We are already there. We are just counting down. 
God bless you. God bless you. Please, once you call, make sure you use only but two minutes. Two minutes is only thing that I'm giving because uh, 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 we need to allow others to also make their own contribution. Now, the link uh, to the studio is in the comments in the chat section. If you are watching, click the link. You want to join me live in the studio, you can click the link and join me live in the studio. or call the number on your screen so that you can make your contribution because I want this very broadcast from now moving forward to be an interactive section. Now, <clears throat> I made a comment that the freedom of Biafra land and Biafra people is more important to God himself, Chukwo Kikabiyama himself, than the Biafran people. A lot of people are wondering, what is he saying? <laughs> People are wondering, Now, let me tell you the reason why the freedom of Biafra and Biafran people is more important to Chukwoki Kabiyama than us. The sole reason why the freedom of Biafra people is more important to Chukwo Kikabiyama than anyone on one in Azoya Bungwelo Nwe is because, first, we are the children of Chukwo Kikabiyama. We are the children of God, Umu Chuku. That is who we are. And we cannot be able to worship our God in a strange land. Listen, I'm explaining it to you. I'm giving you a proper explanation of what I said. We cannot be able to worship our God, Chukwo Kikabiyama, in the manner that we are supposed to in a strange land. It is not possible. It can happen. So, and God himself is aware that it is not possible for my people to worship me is a shame, is a great shame, is a dishonor to God Almighty, to Chukwo Kikabiyama, to allow his own people to worship him, to serve him in a strange, not just in a strange land, but in, a bon in, in bondage, to worship him while they are in captive or in captivity. Is a shame, it's a big shame, like you have a son now, and you want your son to serve to 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 to, to, to receive, you want to give your son, you know, you want to show your son that father love. You want to give your son what we called father love. And instead of your son to be close to you. To get that, to receive that training from you, to receive that father love from you, your son is serving a, 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 a somewhere, doing boy boy for somebody. And know that you are not capable of taking care of your son. You are very capable. I have people in the studio, but I'm waiting for more numbers to join me in the studio. So therefore, let me pick this call first. Caller on WhatsApp, please. You're welcome. You're welcome. Tell us where you're joining us from. Please go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm calling from Morocco. Oh, from Morocco, all the way from North Africa. You are welcome to the program. Please go ahead. Yeah, that channel, you are doing so great job here. As you know, go ahead, please. So, my brother, based on here, I got the on board. How we are saying, give us a can. Let them give us a can. All we are saying, let them give us Biafra. Because I have Tagafa and Amma, my brother. I have Tagafa, I'm a Biafra, I have Tagafa and Amma. And under the Nukuta plan, we can dish and no Moroka. If we get now, I just look at the plan. I got Bambo, I see Nigeria, I have one this year. This year, I'm not sure about the year, I'm not sure about the year, I'm not sure about the year, because Moroka and the yeah, man, the book are a match or now, but how Morocco is for 
Thank you, my brother. Oh no, one no Morocco. I now support to qualify for them. I now support to qualify financially. I now contribute to part to the government. Yeah, yeah, we are trying. We are trying. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. All right, we move. So, I was saying something. I think I have to uh, welcome. Uh, someone from the studio to make a comment before I continue with my illustrations. All right. Uh, some, if you are joining the studio, please make sure you join with your microphone. It is very, very important. If your microphone is not on, then you cannot be able to speak. All right. Uh, Mazi Onye Kachuku, please grab the microphone and speak to us quickly, please. Everybody, to two minutes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Biafra Unite. The Ikuku one. Thank you so much for a good job. Um, yeah. Your analysis is really um, penetrating. Thank you, Bia France. Thank you, friends of Bia France. Thank you, my able Prime Minister, the cabinet, and uh, all the media um, officials. There's more grease to your elbows. You see, um, these people, they think that uh, they are stuck in trade of yesteryears, uh, can still work in this our time. You know, formally, this is what is known DSS, to fabricate something and uh, never existing something, faceless group, and uh, publish it, you know? Uh -huh. That is a, 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 a stock in trade of DSS. But what you just mentioned now, the people I know, you and the comment that said, I mentioned my powerful, my powerless, sorry, in my powerless. So they are the people you are right, 100% right. They are the people, you know, they are doing everything possible. Do you just, uh, if I in your bar, uh, want to be make a governor of Anambra State, and all these um, mongoose mentioned, they are trying to do the work of money they pay. They, you know, they pay them hugely, which a former AGF, the criminal Malami, said it. So these are <coughs> what they are doing. But, you know, they are fighting a lost battle, you know. We can never, never in this our time allow them to succeed. We are ahead of them. And uh, I'm urging all beer fans, please, um, you know, a quitter does not win and the winner does not quit. Greater the risk, greater the profit. Closer the, <coughs> the victory, tougher the battle. We must increase everything we are doing. Support our government. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. God bless you for that submission. All right. Uh, we move to the next person. 
Ogochuku Okafo. This name with Simon Ekpa, your microphone is not connected, so you need to leave and come back again with your microphone turned on. Thank you. Ogochuku Okafo, please grab the microphone and talk to us. You're welcome. Okay, my name. Uh, because you use two minutes, sir. We poor young Chori. Yesterday, I'm Balem Boman. I'll put on me, make Amber Town. If you pull open Chori for my capital, be because allow me. Now, Pito be no way, ya. And when Boga, I get a Yasai on a yoka, Nam de Canopo, Kamazin, Nam de Canopota. 